hello and welcome to another scratch tutorial this is part one of our new series space shooter game so i will show you what we are going to make this is the game that we are going to make so today we would be working on the player movement and the bullet uh, bullets so let's get started so first of all click on the create button and delete the sprite scratch cat and then upload so i'm done with uploading the sprite the links are in the description so let's do the coding part so take a one flag click and then go to the go to x so i'll make it it will go to the initial position and zero. so it will go to the initial position so like here so it's x 10 and y minus 120 so and then grab a forever and then make new custom block name it as player movement oops player movement click ok and then uh play, play movement point towards the mouse pointer and yes set y to set y to the y position and then move like 10 steps so let's test that uh, oh yeah and put this inside the forever loop so put putting all this in the forever loop is the same as putting this in the forever loop so let's so it's working but there's a problem it's going full 360 degrees and we have to fix it so take an if then block and then grab a greater than if the direction is greater than 45 so point in direction 45 and then duplicate this block and then convert it to lesser than if the direction is lesser than minus 45 Oops. so point in direction minus 45 so let's test that out so it's working very but it's very slow so let's change it to like 17 if you want it slower you can do 10 steps or 5 steps if you want it faster you can do 25 30 so i'll do 17 yes 17 is fine and then now change let's change the background to black convert to bitmap fill in black color yes so now let's paint the sprite so let's name it as laser bullets And now just paint the costume. So come on. So I'm done with painting the costume. And make sure to center your costume. Um, so let's do the coding part. So when flag clicked, go to the control section and grab a forever loop. And go to looks. Go to back layer so that it's not in the front of the player. And then in the forever loop, grab a if then statement if key space is pressed then create clone of myself and then wait until not key space is pressed Let's grab a not key space is pressed so what this will do is when we press the key space it will shoot and if we uh, it will wait until we don't press the key space again so now grab a when i start as a clone so when i start as a clone go to player go to player and then forever change y by like 10 so if you want it to move faster the bullet so you can do like 20 or 30 but i'll do like 10 so now let's test that out so if you press the key space and one more thing 
we don't want to show the original sprite we only want to show its clones so show its clones and hide so the original sprite will hide and the clones will only show so if you press the key space which and I don't want the key space pressed if you want key space you can take key space uh, so I'll just take mouse down so now when I click it shoots so uh, when we shoot it's no, the bullets are not going off screen and we don't want that so we have to fix it so if if the bullets are touching the edge if the bullets touch edge it will delete this clone so now so now it's working so that's it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe too if you have any doubts you can ask me on my scratch studio the links are in the description below see ya